service our list of support centers and also NGOs uh, when it comes to uh, autism. So we have National Autism Society, NASOM. Okay, they have a lot of programs uh, from early education, mainstream program. Uh, they also do assessment and diagnosis, a transition program from uh, kindergarten to get to the mainstream program. Then we have vocational for the adolescent, for the adult with autism, residential program, how to help them uh, to, to, to live in a community. Mm -hmm. um, so we have NASOM. Okay, and we have Academy Romaja Islam Autisma. Okay, I also just got to know about this uh, academy. Uh, so they offered sheltered workshops, okay, vocational skill where they uh, teach you um, how to bake cake, pastry, uh, make uh, bread, catering, laundry. So um, it's quite good. Uh, and then self-care, okay, how to take care of yourself, the, how to social skills, to interact with others. Okay, and then we have Institute Masalah Pembelajaran dan Autism Malaysia, Impian. So a lot of these centers actually offer EIP, Early Intervention Program. Okay, then they have Functional Academic Program, Pre-Vocational Training, and Genius Premier, of course, uh, Early Intervention Program, School Preparedness, Community Education, and we also know about Autism Project Cafe, um, started by a father who have a child, an autistic child. Okay, so they open a cafe and then you can actually send your child um, <clears throat> so for training and they see whether the child is actually suitable to work there or not. And then there's a Yayasan Gamuda where offer a three month employment transition program uh, for those uh, diagnosed with autism. Okay, so all right. So before I end this presentation, um, as you can see, like the transition, whether the child is actually suitable to go to normal school or not, I would suggest before the child goes to school or you decide whether uh, <clears throat> you should put the child in a normal school or special school, um, it's good if you uh, go for IQ assessment. So basically, an IQ assessment will tell uh, the cognitive, the level of cognitive function that the child has. So IQ assessment, some center, they, they offer like at the age of three, uh, you can do an IQ test. But I personally think um, the best time to do an IQ test is actually at the age of six and above, before the child actually enter. Um, primary school because uh, cognitive function uh, change over the years depend on the exposure that you give to it. So at the age of six, then you um, refer for an IQ test to look at the cognitive function and from there, we can suggest whether this child uh, will be able to cope with the normal class or the child need a special class uh, for the education part. So, yep, I guess uh, that's all for my presentation.